.50 caliber rounds aren't the only danger in a war zone. IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, have been the leading cause of American casualties in the Middle East. More than 1,700 U.S. personnel have been killed by IED explosions since 2003. Unlike the penetrating power of a high-speed projectile, IED's killing power comes from concussive force, a massive rolling wave of energy that can shred a Humvee and anyone inside it. It's blast that is one of the big threats now, not just projectiles. Amazingly, aluminum may hold the answer to protecting against these deadly blasts. The key? Bubbles. Just outside Toronto, Canada, Cymat Technologies is engineering a low-density, aerated aluminum known as aluminum foam. We really want to get our material between harm and people. Creating aluminum foam isn't easy. It means transforming an 800-pound block of aluminum into 4x8 panels with a total combined weight of just 40 pounds. It takes place inside a special chamber that creates bubbles in the molten aluminum. That little box you see over there, that's where all the magic's made. We can adjust the airflow and the RPM and the temperatures and the speed of production to change the, the properties of the foam. We can make a light foam, we can make a uh, very heavy foam, uh, large cells or small cells. The smaller the cells or bubbles, the heavier the foam. Lighter foam can be installed in car doors. The heavier stuff might one day form the inside walls of the U.S. Embassy in Iraq. And no matter the weight, it's all designed to do the same job. As the impact hits it, each one of those bubbles, the walls collapse, and as they fracture, they're each absorbing a little piece of the energy that's being uh, uh, impacted on the panel. As each bubble in the foam collapses, it takes away energy from the blast. So instead of the concussive force from an explosion ripping into a building's support columns or human tissue, it's absorbed by strategically placed foam. Force will actually compress the material and not transfer into the other structure. And that's exactly what our material is great at doing it.